Hello there guys, today I'm going to be showing off the cyborg racing block suits, which is the most powerful race in the game. So, yeah, let's get straight in with some bounty hunting. If I can find anyone who's not level 1. Oh, there. So this is the rarest race and the most difficult race to get. Wait, isn't that the same thing? What, what, what was I even saying? Why are people... This thing's V3 does is that it has like this electrical lightning effect that does about 5,500 damage. Wow, that's a lot actually. Did that guy say GG? I don't know if he said G, G or not. I can even see what happened to him. He just kind of died. But I can get V4 here, which is what I kind of need. But he's way too low level. <laughs> but we can still get V4 from him. Oh my god, he's a love thing, he? There, I'll just leave him barely alive. Sounds like people are fighting, but I can't work out where they are. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Because it's like there's no here, but they're, they're supposed to be here. But basically what this race does is look it in. It gives me, it makes me more durable. It makes me take less damage from like melee and fighting, than like fighting styles and swords and guns. But not block roots, but if you wear the Kitsune Ribbon 2, then you have 15% defense on like everything in the game, which is really good. Also, this race is a uh, visual changer so that you get your blue futuristic wings on your back and you get like a little visor. There, that's what the visor looks like, and there's the wing. And this race is very good for grinding in V4. I'll show you why in a second when I have V4. Now this is considered the hardest race to get. And also considered the best race. Because of how overpowered its buffs are. But yeah, it's pretty hard to get. Anyway, let's go V4. So if I gather these two NPCs up, you're gonna see something cool, which is look, these like balls are going between them and attacking them. And it basically works like you get these AOE orbs that like chain through nearby enemies. See? They're getting like that purple fire effect, see, and they're all dying. But this race can also super jump like that and super dash. Like this is such a powerful. Um, I don't think that does damage, but. Also, you can go double the distance with a Solgatar M1. But 
which lets you go like really fast, which is really funny. And this race is really good for PvP because of all of its buffs. And it's probably the best race. Yeah, I think it like just is the best race in the game. And like it's very good for bounty hunting, but the server's pretty deserted, so I won't be able to find anyone. Plus, I was kind of just showcasing the race, and that I and that I now have it, and I think it's a really good race. And it's probably my favourite looking. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video.